In this tutorial, we'll continue our discussion about forces. We'll talk about two categories of forces, contact forces and non-contact forces. Contact forces include applied forces, like when you pushed or pulled on an object. When you pushed on an object, you are definitely contacting the object. When you pull on an object, you are often indirectly contacting the object. That is, you are contacting the rope or handle which contacts the object. When you kick a soccer ball, you are contacting the soccer ball during the kick. So it is also a contact force. Frictional forces are also contact forces. When you drag an object over the floor, the floor applies the friction force on the bottom of the object, where the object contacts the floor. When a puck is sliding along the ice, the ice provides the friction force on the puck. It's a small friction force, but it's definitely a contact force, as the ice contacts the bottom of the puck. Non-contact forces, on the other hand, do not require contact to cause a force. They have an invisible force field or field of influence. Let's look at a couple examples of non-contact forces. What happens when you jump up? Well, something pulls you back down, and that's the force of gravity. And you can't see it, but you definitely feel it every time you trip. Gravity is quite an amazing force as it keeps our planets in orbit and also keeps water in your glass. A skydiver jumping out of a plane has no contact with the Earth, but they are definitely being pulled towards the center of the Earth. Another name for the force of gravity is weight. How much you weigh is the same as how hard the Earth is pulling you down. Gravity is definitely a non-contact force. And another non-contact force is magnetism. If you bring magnets close together, they move each other, either avoiding each other or jumping together, depending on the poles. No contact was required to make the force appear. In fact, one of Albert Einstein's first interests in science was the mysterious non-contact force that he observed with magnets. In this tutorial, we looked at forces in two categories, contact forces and non-contact forces. Contact forces require contact with the object, while non-contact forces can exert force without contact. Both cause changes in motion by either pushing or pulling. Examples we looked at for contact forces include applied forces and frictional forces. Examples of non-contact forces included gravitational force and magnetic force.